Are there any new implementations or uh, how would you compare besides the technical, like the look of it? How would you compare the newest versions to at the beginning? Yeah, I, I mean, when I found the company, I said faster, easier, more fun, independent of closure, still are sparkling. That's our goal, right? Uh, and so faster, easier, more fun. I think the, so we have three product ranges now. We have the Timeless, which is the original, uh, needle through the cork, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, and then we've got Pivot, uh, which is for anything that doesn't use a cork. Um, so Venalock, the glass corks, T-tops for Sherry's and uh, Sake and all their crazy closures. Uh, it still uses argon to press the wine out into your glass, but it uses, instead of a needle, it uses a tube that goes through a valve in a stopper. So we have a stopper that replaces the closure, so we don't care what the closure is. Uh, works in the same principle uh, as Coravin, but you open the bottle and then quickly close it with our stopper and then can pour wine using Pivot. Uh, and then Sparkling. So that's our, our third, which is a totally different system, running on CO2 gas, uh, also using a stopper, uh, a, a labor of love. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.